Okay, this is going to be part 2 to my uh, installing Windows 10 on a MacBook Pro from 2006 video. Uh, if you want to see how I installed it into this computer without using boot camp and everything, that's going to be in part 1 of the video. The link to that will be in the description below and it'll be at the end card of the video. But uh, now that I've gotten Windows 10 in this computer and functioning, I want to find all the missing drivers and get the things working. Right now the iSight camera doesn't work right there, uh, the speakers don't work, the microphone doesn't work, and there are a few things that aren't really functioning, including the Wi-Fi itself. First I'm gonna get the Wi-Fi working and then find the drivers for it, install all of that, and once I do find the drivers I'll have everything in the description below if you need to download them. From my experience they're actually really hard to find. And let's get started. The first thing I'm going to be doing is uh, inst installing a new Wi-Fi card, getting all that functioning, then we can move on to everything else. Sure, this computer's Wi-Fi not working was actually traced back to a uh, a faulty Wi-Fi card which normally sits right there. Now this is a faulty card. It's made by a company called Ethos. Ethos. Oh, if it'll zoom. There it is. Ethos Communications. Now I looked it up online, and apparently these cards have a pretty good record of failing in these MacBook Pros. And uh, somebody said that a Broadcom card would work. Luckily, I happen to have one. It came out of a 17-inch MacBook Pro. It is also a 2006 Broadcom card. So I'm going to pop it in here, hopefully get the, some Wi-Fi on this computer, and install a lot of missing drivers. The new Wi-Fi card, we do have Wi-Fi. I'll go on to that right quick. The last check-in of this uh, MacBook Pro. I've found a lot of the missing drivers. I've gotten, I've even gotten the iSight camera working. And I've fixed the earlier sound issue as well. So the iSight camera now works. And the sound works as well, along with the Wi-Fi. Or Edge, or whatever they're calling it. It actually works decently well. It's enough for someone to do their homework or something. It's not exactly running full HD, but it's enough to get some stuff done. The only thing is the function keys don't work, and uh, there's an odd issue, so whenever I close the computer, it shuts off, like that. I don't know what that is, to be honest. I've checked the settings on the computer. It's set to, when the lid is closed, hibernate, but for some reason it shuts off. Or not. Nope, it's off, yeah. But other than that, everything else works on the computer. Battery works fine. Uh, DVD drive works. USB ports work. Keyboard, mouse works. Camera works. Speakers work. Everything that needs to work. Oh, Wi-Fi, that works. Everything that needs to work is working and functions correctly as a computer should. And it's not the most high-end computer out there, but it's a decent machine that somebody can use to work with. And honestly, I'm pretty happy with this project. It turned out decently well. Anyway, that's about it. If you want to see more of these videos, hit like. If you have any suggestions for fixing this power off when the lid closes a glitch, uh, comment that down below. I'd love to know. Uh, and if there's anything else, I don't know, leave that down there as well. But if you want to see more of these videos, hit subscribe. I've also got quite a lot of car videos coming out. Actually, the screen resolution seems to have changed. It won't... No, what? It went to sleep. Sweet. Actually, I think that, that sleep issue just got fixed. Interesting. Let me do that again. That was very interesting. Oh, wow. So it shuts down, but it still saves the majority of the data. This is pretty awesome. I guess the computer works fine then. There's really nothing left to fix. Everything else works fine. The keyboard backlight doesn't work. The function keys don't work. But everything that's necessary works fine. I'm quite happy with this.